Hi folks, today I bring to you a driver of 7 segments display. It was the reference of PT6958 and belongs to the manufacturer Princeton Technology Corp. The panel used has the 4x7 segment display, one infrared receiver and all have three buttons. By this reason I need add two more buttons but uh, as the circuit is ready for it, it's easy to do it. This driver uh, has fixed 5 grids and 10 segments and interestingly the board designer made it difficult to reuse this board by skipping the first two segments of the screen. Also changed the order of the grids leaving as the sequence 4, 2, 3, 1 from the left to right side. These two designer options imply same attention to the code as there has been many reports of difficulty with this kind of the boards. The application uh, I have done to the board um, is uh, to give one example of how implement a timer for uh, routine tasks. However, at speak, I let the alert to the sequence of the, the, the order uh, between the driver PT6958 uh, and the connection to the, the, these two groups of displays. Um, the segment 3, in this case the pin 13, belongs to the segment or E, after the segment 4, pin 14, go to D, H, C, G, B, F and A. This sequence you can um, check with the, the multimeter and follow the, the, the the ways between the driver and the displays of seven segments. The sequence uh, of the display here are read uh, refer and you can see by the order of the test the sequence is not a normal, okay? First, second, third and fourth. This is a sequence of the, the the displays um, to the, the the pins of the grids of the driver. Okay, the board um, running um, a small software I have done over Arduino, and the the, the, the application uh, do it uh, okay. A normal clock uh, is uh, only apply the code to the display the 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 timer uh, from the, the, the Arduino is not a, 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 a good reference of the time maybe you need to uh, adjust the, the counts I have then to the Arduino uh, but you can apply a real-time circuit to uh, other things in this case count the minutes and the hours in these two uh, groups of the display I put here a blinking of the uh, indicator the, the time is running and I have added these two buttons to implement the, 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 the code uh, I need to run. To get the counter of the interval of the timer is necessary to swap the format of our display to the counter. I do it with this button here. You have the counter of the get time. I do it the reset of the timer here, and every time you press the button, do it the reset. To um, keep the the interval of the timer you want count, you adjust your time and press this button here to. Um, put the timer in the memory. Uh, not every time you press this button, uh, the time keep it will be the format of the present seconds in the display, less one, okay? 
to avoid the compare in the moment of the press the button okay I reset here and after when you reach the value present the memory we'll break the LED here and the reset the count of the seconds and minutes okay this is a, um, a format to use the, 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 the timer count and every time reach the interval you have memories in the, the memory we'll do the reset and restart the count again okay if you change to the format hour you have the information of format hour present and if you press the reset button here don't make any kind of actions because the flag uh, protect the time uh, hour in the display the connections to the board is very easy is the first pin is G and D the black after the blue the blue is the output pin after you have the orange is the input pin or input data after you have the clock the green the strobe in the white after you have the VCC the red and after the infrared is the brown in this case I'm not using the infrared receiver is present here but you can use high alert also to the uh, use of two resistors to connect to the same pin the Arduino because I only, only use, only use uh, a pin to the input data and output data to the, the, the Arduino connection by this reason I make a chant between the auto output data input with the two resistors of the CAT uh, 470 ohms okay this is below side of the board you can see here the PT6958 this is a TTL in this case is 7407 um, and don't have um, the, the more components in the below side here you can uh, see um, you have the conditions to add more buttons okay if you need okay good job